What's going on, YouTube? Right, Mr. Manicor here, back again with another Icons of the Realms opening, and today we are back with a Baron rising from the last war, still looking for that Lord of Blades. Hopefully we can get it in this one. Uh, I think last time we pulled the Cloaker figure, which is really cool, and one that I did enjoy. Whatever that thing is, it's cool. Good signs. I think there's at least two here that we haven't gotten, so we're going to start with this one. Is, oh, definitely a new one. Um, so some sort of a dwarf. Um, dwarf mage, right? Okay. I think that is a some class of artificer, but I'm not sure. Um, could almost use it as a cleric just because of that little thing there. It's really cool, but it's it's funny that there's like a decal on it. I don't know that I've ever seen another icons figure with a decal on it. Pretty cool little figure. Put that bubble wrap away. We're gonna grab this guy because he was cool. And now I'm super confused and intrigued. Ah, oh, this is one of the, the quarries. Okay. These are like, I don't wanna say insect dudes, but kind of like insect dudes um, from a baron. And they're really cool, especially this guy. I like that he's got like a snake body and he's got the cool like crab claws. I almost thought it was one of the like lobster people from Tomb of Annihilation. I can't think of their name at first, but I like him a lot. Are those all eyes? I can't tell if those are just spots or eyes. I think the white things are eyes. Maybe those are noses. It's also got two little arms right there that I wish they were kind of it a little more so you could see them or maybe different mold because it's kind of hard to see them they're like but whatever and then finally this one which i was intrigued about because it was shiny I like the shiny thing da -da -da -da. oh that is cool what is this this is an undying soldier ah very cool so uh, looks like it fit in in a lot of different areas Man, I really like that shield. That thing is awesome. It's like full body, and I feel like it's one of those shields you could just... Uh, but that's just me. Spear is kind of lame. It'd almost be cooler if it just had two of those shields. Uh, I like that the body is kind of a gray to show it's kind of dead. That mess in there... Oh, it's the straps. The straps aren't colored. They're colored the same. Still super cool figure up there uh let's check the large mini which does not feel that large so i don't believe this is, is the living spell cloud kill uh this is actually the second one of these i got i think we got it before when i opened one of these um not in the brick so kind of a letdown it's a cool thing to have i mean but yeah okay Let's see here. I think my least favorite is going to be the spell. Um, even if it wasn't a repeat, it's still my least favorite out of this group. I think the dwarf is next. Uh, I do like it a lot, but I don't see me using this figure a lot. Next is this guy who also, again, like it a lot, but again, don't really see me using it a whole bunch. And then... I dropped him okay it's definitely my favorite um because i think it fits in a lot of different places i mean heck you could just set it down and it can just be a guard you know from tabletop it doesn't have to be an undying guard so uh i like the versatile minis a lot and especially when they look this cool so i guess this one could be used for like a bunch of different dwarf standards but still uh, I, I could see me using this one way more than any of the others. So that's going to wrap this one up. Hope you guys are enjoying it. I will have a miniature painting video for you all on Wednesday. Until then, catch y'all later. Peace.